Hey folks, it's Finn. This week, I want to talk a bit about things that you really should think twice about before saying to trans people. I do appreciate that learning trans language isn't straightforward. If you're not a trans person yourself and you don't move in trans circles and there, then it, I can understand why it can be hard. But there are some things that people say that I really want to shed a light on as to why it's so unhelpful. This is my number one bugbear about what people say that really isn't helpful. And that's this. I went to a medical assessment for my benefits. I was sat chatting to this chap um, about everything and I explained that I was going through transition. He jumped straight to the conclusion that I was assigned male at birth and that I was actually about to start transitioning from male to female. Compliment, great, because he didn't realise, wonderful. But when I said to him, no, I was assigned female at birth and I've transitioned and I'm almost at the end of my transition, the chap then put down his pen and said this. Wow, you're very convincing, aren't you? I mean, I've seen lots of other people, but they don't look as convincing as you. Wow. I mean, wow. I just sat there stunned, really. I didn't really know what to say. And he kept talking and he was saying, oh, you must be so pleased with how it's gone, you know, because you really can't tell, can you, compared to these other people? And if it had been in another situation, I would have stopped him and explained. But one, I was completely thrown because he was a professional. And yes, I do give people leeway because, of course, as I said, trans language can be difficult. But if you're in a profession, surely you should have some common sense about what is right to say and what isn't right to say. I didn't feel able to challenge him. And this is something that comes up a lot in our community. When we're faced with people who have power over us or we perceive to have power over us, we don't challenge it. And at least this is the case for me. I mean, he was there to assess whether I could have my benefits reinstated and all of this. And so the last thing I wanted to do was then to have like a dialogue of challenging his language. So I just kind of went, mm-hmm, and just finished the interview and left there feeling absolutely awful. Convincing? I look convincing. What? I mean, I'm not Father Christmas or some magical fairy. Okay, sometimes I am a magical fairy. Oh my God, think it through. What are you saying when you say a trans person is convincing? You are ultimately saying that this trans person looks like a real man. That's what you're saying. Now, I'm going to breathe because <laughs> I'm getting a bit mad about it. I get why some people might think that this is a useful thing to say, that they're somehow saying, wow, you look so amazing, you know, that it's a compliment that I look male. But people can't really see that at the same time, they're also taking away my true identity as a man because they're saying I'm play acting this man, that I'm convincing people that I'm a man. And that isn't a helpful thing to say at all. I am a man. I don't need to convince anybody. Oh, my God. This is unfortunately something I come across a lot when I tell people I'm trans and Although with the medical professional guy, I am angry because there should be training when it comes to trans people about basic things not to say. When it comes to the general public, when I say I'm trans and these things come out, whether it's, wow, you look convincing or, wow, you can't tell or you look like a real man, you know, I just take a deep breath and then I just try and explain to people why that isn't helpful. I get, I do get that you're trying to compliment me on how I look. But let me just tell you why it isn't helpful. When you say I am convincing, what you are saying is that I'm really looking like I am a real man. I already am a real man. I've always been a real man. I just changed my body to reflect that. So actually you think you're helping me by saying, wow, you look so convincing like a real man. You really can't tell you're trans and all of that. But actually what you're doing is you're taking away my maleness because you're almost, well it is, you're like you're saying that I'm play acting a part and I'm playing it so well that you really are convinced that I am actually this man. 
the other issue is that we don't transition to please other people in their ideas of what gender should look like. We transition to be comfortable in our own skin. So it's not about my gender pleases you. And, and, and that's horrible. I mean, if you really want to say something, I understand that you're blown away because in your mind, you've had this idea of trans people and you've just met one for the first time in your life. And wow, they look like everybody else. You're shocked, I get it. But just take a breath and think for a minute what you're saying. Just turn around to that person instead and say, you're a really good looking man or you're a really pretty woman. Or just say nothing at all. <laughs> I get it, but it's really, really so unhelpful. And it doesn't help all the people that are non-binary. It doesn't help people who, for one reason or another, still struggle to be read as their correct gender in society. There's this big dialogue around, you know, trans. This is what trans looks like, i.e. completely cisgendered and it wipes away the whole trans identity. If you look like that, you've pleased the public. That's the message it's giving. And it's not about that. It's about accepting people for who they are, who they say they are, whether it fulfills your idea of what their gender should look like or not so for any professionals out there no <laughs> no you need some diversity training you never ever say to a trans person you look so convincing to everybody else just think when you meet a trans person you are blown away i get it just take a deep breath and then think before the next thing comes out of your mouth because you have the ability to really impact that person in either a negative or a positive way. So that's my little rant for the week. What about you? As the things that people say that are really unhelpful, how do you challenge it? What do you say instead? It would be really lovely to hear from you all. So if you drop a comment at the bottom, that would be great. While I'm here, I just want to say thank you hugely for all the well wishes from my exam. It went really, really well. I answered all three questions with five minutes to spare. It felt really good. I find my results out next month, so fingers crossed. Also, while I'm here, I want to give a massive shout out to everybody at Leicester's Tea Party. It was really lovely to meet you. Awesome to meet you, in fact. I'm off to Glastonbury Festival on Monday. I'm going to be blogging that, but I'm going to try and get another vlog up between now and when I go. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you soon.